Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel SCF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. And I'm Marius. And today we have episode 98, getting really close to that 100, um, episode of the SPG Grand Campaign uh, here on the channel. It is the breakthrough. Yeah. So this is a scenario where Bard, uh, Gandalf and Bilbo, as well as 12 Lake Town uh, Militia, try to reach the gates of Dale before they can be caught by uh, 18 Gundabad Orcs, two captains and a troll, yeah. uh, catapult troll. So uh, a bit of a disclaimer, the catapult troll has not been released at the time of filming this video, so we, we do not have that model. We have instead used a Mordor catapult on a base yeah. to represent it. So, um, so I think the base size is representative of what the model will have. Yep. Uh, because of an 80 millimeter base on a Gundabad troll, it is hunched down with a catapult on his back. Yeah, it, it makes sense. So, uh, so yeah, um, are you excited for this scenario? Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. Seems very fun. So, First uh, time controlling Dale. Yeah, because you're an Iron Hills man. You're <laughs> our Iron Hills man, uh, yeah. bringing all the Iron Hills all the way from Savannah to film the previous scenarios. Uh, but now we're entering Dale, so, uh, so no Iron Hills for a long while, yep. about a month without Iron Hills. Yeah. Uh, now, so um, I guess we'll see you around Christmas to film more yeah. <laughs> of the of the Iron Hills stuff. So, uh, so yeah, um, let's show you the rules, the armies, and the board after this. From atop Ravenhill, Azog has commanded his legions of orcs, trolls and ogres to attack Dale with full force. As the signal tower issues orders, huge troll catapults smash holes in the city walls, providing the orcs with new entrances into the stronghold. Planning to surround their adversaries, Azog's army now marches to seize the city. If successful, this would force the alliance of men, elves and dwarves to fight on two fronts. As Gandalf realizes that Azog is trying to cut the alliance of men, elves and dwarves off from Dale, Bard commands his men to return to the city with great haste, breaking through the orc lines. The men of Eskroth must march and fight with renewed desperation to reach Dale, for if Bard and his men fail to reach the city in time, then they will be overrun and those within the walls will be at the mercy of the orc hordes. And so begins the battle. This scenario can be found on page 44 and 45 of the There and Back End sourcebook from Games Workshop. Layout. This scenario takes place outside the walls of Dale. In the centre of the northern board edge lies the gatehouse of Dale, a stone causeway leading towards the gates providing the only way in. The causeway should be roughly 6 inches long and 2 inches wide. Wide enough to have a cavalry model move along, but not enough to have 3 models on foot across. The rest of the battlefield is scarce with a few small bushes and rocky outcrops. Starting Positions The good player deploys their army within 3 inches of the centre of the southern board edge. The evil player then deploys their army anywhere within 3 inches of either the eastern or the western board edges. Objectives The good player wins if Bard, Gandalf and Bilbo reach the city of Dale by moving through the gates. If the evil player that is able to kill either Bard, Gandalf or Bilbo before they reach Dale, then the game ends in a draw. The evil player wins if they can slay any two of the good heroes. Special Rules Fall back to Dale. 
Bard is aware of the importance of reaching Dell before the Orcs, needing to reach the city in order to protect his people and family. Bard the Bowman may call a heroic march every single turn without reducing his store of might. Special rules continued. We are Legion. Azog's army is so large and increasing numbers of Orcs flood the battlefield. Any good about Orc warrior that is slain will re-enter the battlefield from the eastern or western borders in the evil player's next move phase. We are the rules for reinforcements found on page 87 of the main rules manual. The evil side cannot be broken in this scenario. Radagast's Staff With his magical staff destroyed by the necromancer, Gandalf is gifted a new one by his loyal friend Radagast Brown. However, this is not always reliable, resulting in many of Gandalf's attempts at casting magical powers falling flat. Whenever Gandalf the Grey declares his casting a magical power, declare how many will points are being used to then roll a single d6 before rolling to cast. If the result is 1 or 2, then the magical power is not cast, and any will points declared are lost. Participants Good models, Bard the Bowman on horse, Gandalf the Grey, Bilbo Baggins, Master Burglar, and 12 Lake Town Militia, 4 with shield, 4 with spear, and 4 with bow. For the evil models, 2 Gundabad Orc Captains, 1 Catapult Troll, 18 Gundabad Orc Warriors, 9 with shield, and 9 with spear. Since the Catapult Troll hasn't been released yet, we are using a Mordor Troll Catapult on a base. Designer's Note In this scenario, Bard is the key for the good side, so he cannot risk getting bogged down. The good player must move him up the board as quickly as possible, utilizing his free heroic marches or using heroic combats or a good way of keeping him moving forwards. The evil player must kill Bard in order to stop the good player winning. By blocking his path with a line of orcs, the evil player can drastically slow down Bard, allowing for the orcs to surround him and bring him down. Alternatively, the evil player has a catapult troll on hand to try to squash the men of lake um, another lake under a barrage of huge boulders. That should be quite fun. And now let's show you the board and the armies. So here we have Bard and the gang. It is Bilbo, Gandalf, Bard on horse, as well as 12 Lake Town militia. And arrayed against them, we have a catapult troll using mortar troll catapult uh, as a proxy because the model for the catapult troll hasn't been released yet. On this side we have one Gundabad Orc Captain and eight Gundabad Orcs. Over on the other side we have one Gundabad Orc Captain and ten Gundabad Orcs. So a bit more on that side because of the huge troll. And all across the board from Bard we have the city, um, city gates which are here and then we have the causeway going up so just imagine this being a causeway we we didn't have a, uh, a causeway built so we, we're using a foreground um, bridge instead it it looks the part so apologies for the spare terrain um, we, we do not have terrain that much as this and it is rather spares anyway so uh, we'll, we'll just use this board as it is uh, maneuvering with heroic marches will be quite quite good anyway so uh yeah um good starts with priority so good luck marius good luck uh are you calling anything uh heroic march and bar yeah because he gets it for free every single turn um i will actually call a heroic march with both of the captains um so we'll uh, we'll come back once both sides have moved um are you you're of course planning to cast a spell with Gandalf, I think. Using his free one for terrifying aura. Yeah. 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 So um so we'll, we'll tell you if that went alright or not with the fiddly staff. <laughs> so moving through the um the passageway there, Bard and his uh, small band of merry men um move as fast as they can. Bar Bard, who uh, who wants to shoot, actually. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, the um, the orcs moving full, and the catapult troll can fire still while moving. Yeah. 
So um, we do have uh, the ability to do some damage to you, but first it's Bard. So yeah. Gandalf is, uh, oh well, and Gandalf casts successfully uh, Terrifying Aura, yep. and Bilbo puts on the ring. Yep. Um, so uh, Bard has moved, uh, Gandalf is standing in front of him, so he could not really shoot at these guys. Nope. So he'll have to shoot at these guys. Yep. With his strength 4 bow. Yep. So rolling so, to hit, needing a 4 plus. It's a hit, hit. you get another um, another, um, another shot. shot. And hit. one hit, and then another shot. Ooh, oh. three fours! <laughs> exactly what you need. So now you need to roll fives to wound. Yep. So one. And kills one. So who do you want? This one? This yep. one? Yeah. Closest one. Closest one. So that will, of course, come back on uh, the board. But uh, for now, it is dead. Right, so rolling for priority, turn two. Yep. Let's see who gets it. It goes to evil this turn. Oh well, uh, I forgot my catapult troll. Yeah. I, I will try to shoot my catapult troll. It will yep. fire at Bard. Why not? No. <laughs> it needs a six to it when it's moved. Yep. Um, so, uh, any heroics from you? Uh, heroic march with Bard. Yeah, I'll not call anything. So we'll come back once both sides have moved. With evil getting priority, they have moved a bit closer to the center of the board. And... Um, this one straggler <laughs> struggling behind. Um, so, Bard has moved up, declaring it a, a, um, a heroic march. Gandalf has now moved up, and he will play some bowling. So he will try. Try to source blast this guy. Yeah. You're saying two dice. One free one, and yep. one from the store. <gasps> oh, oh, double one! And it's cast on five, isn't it? So yep. that doesn't go through. So you spent one will. Yep. Alright, so we'll come back after the rest of the movement has been done. Yep. Alright, so after movement, the board looks like this. Uh, Bard's Merrymen have nearly crossed the halfway line across the board, with the orcs uh, dangerously close to each other to form kind of a fighting line. So we do have the Catapult Troll again firing at Bard. Let's get A6 now. No, a two again. Okay, and Bard will fire his bow. Yep. At he what? Will fire at the front rank here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, first one. No! Miss. So that okay. means you can't fire any more arrows. Nope. Unless you use a point of mind to hit. I guess you want to save those. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, so priority turn three. Yep. So it goes to good. Yep. I'm not. Sure, if you want that or not. Not sure. Ah, what will you do? What will you do? Um, heroic combat, uh, heroic uh, march with barn. Yeah, at least. Right, so we'll come back after movement. Yeah. Or with Gandalf, depending. Yeah, probably with Gandalf. Mm. All right, so Bard has moved up. And now Gandalf has moved up, and I think you all see what Gandalf is trying to do. He's going to blast this orc uh, with the Sorcerer's Blast, using two extra eyes to store it down to three now. Yep. Right. Oh, and he gets it! Roll one die for the Fiddler Staff. Point of Might. Yes. Yeah, so Gandalf has used Point of Might to not be affected by Radigast Staff. How far does the orc travel? One <laughs> inch. Okay, but he, he does hit this guy, so he will be placed on the other side here, yep. and he gets a strength 5, yep. and he's dead, and these two, prioritizing the nearest one I presume, yep. gets a strength uh, three, 3, so, so no. no, and this guy gets a strength 3, no. no. But they're knocked prone, and that means that I can charge you with those guys. I do have possibly a charge around the guys. Well, we'll yeah. see. All right, so you do the rest of your movement, and we will come back. All right, so after both sides have moved, uh, the Gundabads have stood up again, 
and are tr trying to block the line of um, of escape for the orcs until our reinforcements can arrive. So um, I have a shot with my catapult troll, or you go first anyway. So yep. you have shots with Bard first. Yeah. So Bard will try to shoot at the uh, the yeah. front guys. Yep. So, so let's see the first one. No. no, not a hit. So then I will try the catapult troll. Um, I'm evil, but I don't care. So I'll shoot at Bard. Yep. Oh, in the tray. No, oh, it's a one. Bad dice rolling, Andres. So, um, you, we have one combat, which is four Lake Towners against a Gundabad or Captain with a Spear Support. Yep. So, um, I guess you'll fight. You'll fight three, I'll fight four. Yep. You set the bar on a six. Can I get it? I don't because these two are the might ones. So no, I don't get it. Um, the Lake Towners wound him on um, wound him on sixes. Yeah. So nothing. No wounds. All right, but they do fight him off. It's good. So new turn, new priority. Yeah. You will go. You get a one. I get a three. Are you calling anything? I think we'll do a heroic move with Bard. So you use one from his uh, yeah. his star. Alright. Um, actually I don't get everyone. So I'm I'm good. Yeah. Yep. So we'll come back once that has moved. Alright, so this has turned out to be a huge fight in the middle of the board uh, with Bard and all the Lake Towners charging in with heroic move and uh, trying to take out as many of the Orcs as possible, trapping wherever possible and, uh, and getting everything off. Um, Gandalf, on the other hand, he moved past some Orcs um, who had their control sounds breaking, broken by the Lake Town militia and commanded the Catapult Troll away. So no shooting. Uh, this turn for the catapult troll. So, um, yeah, combat. Any heroics? No heroics. No heroics. Okay, it's my priority. So, are you trapped anywhere? You are trapped. No, you're not. Nope. No, you're not trapped anywhere. So, let's take this one on one. Yep. So, let's put this up on here. So, Orc against Lake Towner, equal fight, you have a banner. Uh, you have a banner roll. Nope, no. I win. I'm going to take him out. I don't. This is pushback though. Uh, yeah. I have two Orcs on the next one. And you win. Can I kill? I'm getting a six. No. no. Uh, then you have two on two. Yep. Next one over. I'm getting a six, you have a reroll. No. no, so I push you back. Can yeah. I kill him? Defense five. Defense five, needing a, f needing a five. Gets him. So first blood on, well, you've killed an orc already. A couple. A couple of orcs. Even. Um, then we have this one against these two. Yep. So I get it, but you have a reroll. And you get it! Fantastic news, so it's push back. And you can kill him on fives! No. No. Uh, yeah, he's trapped, but he'll be knocked down anyway if you win. So, this one, one on one. Uh, against those two, yeah? Two, yeah. Yep. I get a one, so you win. <laughs> uh, I'm not trapped though, and you need fives. No. Once, but you have you have um, both have she uh, swords. You have you would have fainted with one of them. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Oh, kill him! Good. Uh, next up, we have this one on one. It's the captain. Yep. Against the guy. Oh. Oh! It doesn't take much for the reroll to get 
Oh, last point am I to win the combat? Is that worth it? No, it isn't. So I'm pushed back. Um, no one. And then Gandalf and an archer, only one Gindabad. Yep. Gindabad rolls the six. Gandalf will be green. Oh, yeah, reroll. Oh, I saw the six there. But that's horrible because Gandalf has pushed the wrong direction. <laughs> so, um, try to wound Gandalf. Why not? Needing a five. No wound. Then we have Bard. Well, we have this one though. Two yep. on one. Two on one. I'll fight it. You win. Um. <laughs> the front guy has a sword, so he would have fainted. Doesn't no. come up. And then we have Bard. Against one. Four attacks. Yep. High fight. Getting a five. You win. Yep. He's so. knocked down and on the ground, needing fives. Ah, you just <laughs> get him! Just get him with one. That's two orcs dead. Um, and should be possible for you to... Oh, this is interesting. So if if you get priority, so Gandalf could lead the troops through the gap yep. in the middle. That's very interesting. Very cool. So let's see who gets priority for the next round. It's a draw, so it goes to you. Yeah. Oh, and my captain is there. So you will get this far with Gandalf and equally as far with... Oh, this is horrible. Alright, so I would have to use his last point of might to call a Hurric move. Will you counter? Yes. With Gandalf. With Gandalf, alright? Yeah. So you go party, so you roll to see who gets it. And it goes to me. Yeah. Okay. So we will come back after movement. Alright, so with the orcs getting the jump on Gandalf and Bard, uh, this has turned out to be an all all fight. It was a gamble, and uh, it seems like you had the good plan of like screeching through, uh, but sadly the orcs got the jump on you. So there is no well, I could shoot six. Can shoot at him, but I will kill my own ox. So I won't shoot with the catapult troll. I'll try to get in combat <laughs> instead. So, um, we do have a couple of fights. Any heroics to call, by the way? No. No? I think I'm good. Well, we'll see if you counter. I call a heroic strike against Bard. Oh, there's a captain. Hmm. So he's got he's got zero might remaining after this. Yeah. You have two might left in your store. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's counter. Then. All right. So one might left. Yeah. Um, shall we take the normal ones first? Yeah. So one and one there. I get a three. You have a reroll. Oh. So I get it. Five. Get him. Two dead leg timers. Yep. One on one there. Yep. Get a one, re-roll. Uh, it's a tied fight. Yeah. So I had priority. Ooh. And you win. Oh, so. Don't kill him. So let's push back though. Next one. One on one. You win. No, oh, I win. Yep. There we go. And try to kill him on a five. No. Oh. One on one there. Yep. Reroll. Oh, gets him. And trying to kill. Oh, <laughs> oh, gets him. That was a cocked eye going the right way. Uh, one on one there. Yep. I win so far, and I still win. And I kill him. One less Lake Towner. Um, you have Bilbo in combat, which means yep. you have the higher fight. Yeah. So, Bilbo is only one attack, I think. One attack, yeah. Yep. So you have two attacks there. Yep. Uh, although you do have... 
where do you want your spare support? Because that spare support can support three combats. <laughs> um, I think we'll spare support the archer. The archer, alright. So, um, Bilbo and one guy against the Lake Towner. Yep. Gets a five highest. Oh, I should have. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, so, Bilbo with his string four on with sting. String three with sting. String three with sting. Yeah, but fainting, so. Ooh, uh -huh. and he gets him! He gets him. Okay. All right. So we have a one on one there. Yep. Uh, you have reroll. I win. He's pushed back. It's hardly the wrong way for me, but I do kill him. So that is fine. Uh, the archer had a spare support against these two. Yep. You get a five. I get a six. You have reroll. Oh, and I win it. And trying to kill the archer. And I do. Oh, this is ramping up. Nearly halfway through the uh, Lake Towners. Lake town. So we have a two on one there. Yep. So you get a six. And um, that is a captain with a support. So no, I don't win. But you don't kill, but you push back the captain. Yep. And then we have a two on one there. Yep. You reroll. Oh, no. I went pushing back. Uh, fives. Yes. So we're halfway through the regular Lake Towners now. Ooh. Um, Gandalf versus two. Gandalf. Gets a four. It's strong. And you I get win. double fours, so you win. Pushing them back. Can I kill? Mm. No. Um... Sadly, uh, he wouldn't have fainted. And then my captain versus Bard. Yep. I hear struck going up to eight. You are struck going up to nine. Yeah. So you're a higher fight. I, I charge you. Oh, but you only roll a four. You can get it as now. We get a five. Will you spend the last point of might to win the combat? Kind of have to. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's push back. And uh, you need sixes to wound. Oh, three fives. That is bad luck. Yeah. All right, but you do control the movement, and you do have Bilbo on three might. So you can call a heroic move and just run away yeah. uh, after this. So, uh, so, yeah, exciting stuff. Let's roll for priority. Yep. You get a Ooh. six. I get a one. You yep. win priority. I don't have any might left, you don't have to call anything. Um, oh, I might call a heroic march with Bilbo. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Good. All right, so we'll come gets... back once we've moved. He gets everyone. He gets so it's, everyone. it's very, very sound. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, nice. Well... Oh yeah, and Gandalf can move. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good man. All right, so we'll come back once we've moved. All right, so so far we have moved through a couple of models, Bilbo and uh, Bard, who will not shoot this turn. This was a very cool tactic. I, I did not see this coming at all. Uh, so Gandalf has moved around the ox and is now in a very good position to bowl down the line. Yep. So will he manage it? He uses the last point in his store and the free one. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, last point to might. Yep. To get it, and then you have to roll for Radgas Fiddly Staff. Oh, oh no! But he does have terrifying aura up, yep. and, um, so, and yeah, something. So we'll come back once we've moved the rest of our models. Can Lake Town reach the city gates before they are decimated? We will find out. So, um, the orcs have charged all the Lake Towners but these two guys. Gandalf is not charged because of his terrifying aura, so I didn't want to charge him. Well, that should be like this instead, yeah. So, uh, in the shooting phase, the catapult troll will shoot at 
This leg tower. Yep. Needing a six to hit. Or a five. Or oh! Or a six. Uh, six. I did move. Okay. No. No. Didn't work. Damn it! Um, well, didn't move actually, so it would be a, uh, five. a yeah. four plus. A four plus? I think it's a four. Don't remember. Yeah, it's a four plus shoot on the catapult troll. Woohoo! Uh, Alright, so combat. Uh, you don't have yeah. any heroes in combat. I don't have any might, so that's fine. We have six on one. Let's kill him! Let's kill him good! Oh, you're all five strong. I roll the six. You have a reroll with the banner. Oh, right. Oh, no. so. Uh, nothing. Okay. Um, and the other one. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> oh, one wound on 12 dice. All right, so. Um, you go, party, so You get to choose. I guess you take this one first because he isn't trapped. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's two orcs on him. Yep. You could have shielded though. Do you yeah, still want to? Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you Ooh. get a six. It might be worth it. It is worth it. Uh, so you push back the orcs. And then you have two on one there. Yep. Uh, he doesn't have a shield. Nope. So you can't shield. Can't. You get a one. I get a six. Reroll. Uh, oh! So get enough his push back one inch. Damn it. Uh, can I kill him? I can. Oh. So that's you broken, I think. Yep. Uh, and then we have three orcs on yes. one leg timer. Yep. Oh, you Ooh. get a six. I don't. So you push me back. Can I kill one of your spears? Uh, fives? Oh, no. no. Oh, I should have moved to these two guys back. Yeah. Forgot that. All right, so that's the turn. Let's yeah. see, you started with 15 models. You have six left on the board. 15 is seven and a half, um, up to eight, nine. So you're just broken. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so priority going into this turn. Yep. It goes to the orcs. Yeah. So. Any heroics? Yeah, I'll do a heroic move in Bard then. Because heroic march, you get first. Goes first. Yeah, but if you also call a heroic move with Bilbo. Well, he's only got one might. Left? He did, he got one, one might. Oh, he's got one might. I thought he had three. So did I. It's Free it's ma it's Master Burglar, not the normal Master one. Burglar. I think yeah, Master Burglar has three mites. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then we can call a heroic move with Bilbo and a heroic march heroic for free move. Yeah. with Bard. Heroic move with Bilbo. And yeah. I can't do anything against that, so my only chance is to get that catapult troll <laughs> yep. rolling. So, yeah, we'll uh, come back after you have moved. All right, so we we do we did forget a courage test, but Bard made it. No worries. So this is the situation after the movement. Um, Gandalf tried to cast a sorcerer's blast, but he yep. failed. Um, not because of the staff, because he has one dice left, and it was on a five plus. So uh, the orcs are a bit weary now because my only chance, it seems, is to because you have a free heroic march and one might left, so you could basically just get them all off. So yep. what I need to do is I need to kill one of your heroes. Yep. Um, so my catapult troll hasn't moved. I'll shoot at Bard. Yep. Uh, needs a four plus to hit. Four plus! Oh, it hits! Is it accurate? It is accurate! I hit Bard in the face! <laughs> Oh, Bard hasn't used any fate though. No. Nope. So it's a strength 10 on both horse and rider. I'll do the horse first. Yep. The horse is dead. Okay. Uh, then on Bard, on the three. No, no wound on Bard. No Damn wound on Bard. So, from rider? Yeah. He's fine. Yep. So just exchange him with uh, the foot model. And he's knock prone. Yeah. Um, then on Gandalf, needing a three. No! 
on this Lake Town Survivor, hits him and kills him. Yeah. On this Lake Town Survivor, kills him. On this Lake Town Survivor, doesn't kill him, but he's not prone. And Gandalf as well is not prone. And this Lake Town Survivor is knocked prone, but not dead. <laughs> yes! Catapult Troll! <laughs> Gets it! Alright. <laughs> so, priority. Get a three. I'll get a four. Okay, and heroics. so. Heroic move and heroic march. Yeah. So. And. Courage six. Yeah. So, Bill has to take his courage first. Yep. And move. And he's. Courage. Six, six with three will. Yeah. So he's he very is fine. very fine. Yeah. And then uh, Bard's courage. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so Bard gets plus three. So he stands up, and yep. then he can move six inches. Yeah. Uh, Do you want him to move him off the table this time? No. So no. he will just stay there. Yeah. All right. Gandalf got the courage of a lot. So he's fine. Yeah, you have to actually stay within six inches of Bilbo, so you have yeah. to be a so bit further behind. Yep. Yeah. Will Gandalf cast any magics? Yeah, let's just do a cheeky sources bust. Yep. Yep. Nope. No, nope. doesn't get it. And then we'll move up to six, but yeah. within Bilbo. Mm-hmm. And the Lake Towners can also stand up and move six. So they move just behind there. <sighs> Alright. So. Can we kill the Hobbit? So. Staying. Yep. And outside two. Do I want to stay outside two? Yeah, don't want the splash damage. <laughs> I'll let the catapult troll do the work because you'll fail all of your uh, all of your fate points with both Gandalf and, uh, and Bard. Bard. <laughs> of course you will. So catapult troll <coughs> uh, shoots at Bard again. Come on! Oh, it's a cocked eye! No! Doesn't it? <sighs> okay. Priority. You get a three again. <laughs> I get a six. Okay, so heroic move with Bilbo. Uh, he's got one left. One left, yeah. Yep. Yep. And. Heroic march with Bard. Yep. Okay. So Bilbo with his courage six. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. So he'll move four inches. Okay. He move four inches to over here. Maybe. Yeah. So he'll move. There. Or he can ignore people, so he can. Yeah, yeah move yeah, on move the other side of him. Yeah. Over here. Mhm. Mm and then Bard. Yeah. Gets it! Fine. And his stand fast affects all heroes. So will you move them off the board? Yeah. And just have Bilbo for one more turn? Yep. Yeah. Right, so they are all removed. And then... The Gundabads move within one inch of Bilbo. Trying to bog him down. So the worst results you can get now is a draw. Yeah. In the bads. Rah! Okay. Priority. Yeah. Oh, it's strong! And you get it! And Bilbo moves off the board. It is within four inches. Yep. It's just. Thank you for the game. Thank you. That was awesome. Oh! So we'll come back with our analysis in the post-battle battery breakdown.
Alright, so welcome back to the post-battle battle breakdown. Exciting game. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. Um, so, Catapult Troll, uh, not always accurate, but when he is, he's quite devastating. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I do think you pulled some cool stunts on me. <laughs> um, some cool things I didn't see. You snatching priority and then just marching past, uh, past all the guys, getting to the other side. <laughs> Excellent game. I really yeah. enjoyed this one. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so you got to use Lake Town. What do you yeah. think? Uh, it's they're cool. They have a lot of synergy and with Bard uh, giving all the Lake Town plus one uh, fight and uh, mm. but they're a bit squishy. <laughs> yeah, uh, defense four and defense five on the regular guys. Of course, if you win combats, you don't get hit. So that is a big plus. Yeah. So, we're now moving into Dale. Um, Dale has lots of battles in it. Uh, we have battles against the trolls, we have battles with an ogre, which you will see in a couple of weeks. Yep. Uh, loads and loads of cool scenarios. So, do look out for that in coming weeks. Until next time, I have been Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Marius. And this has been episode 98 of the SPG Grand Campaign. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. Consider supporting us through Patreon in the links in the description below. And as always, support your hobby.